What's going on YouTube? So today's video is going to be a big one. And literally, as you can tell by the timestamp or just the length of it, it's a very big and long video. But today's video is gonna be a major review collaboration and we're gonna give you our take on the best hidden gem summer fragrances for 2020. Before I show you my picks, I just wanna personally thank everybody who's donated their time for this project. So again, thank you so very much. And to those that I have missed or to those that I have not reached out, please don't take it to heart. I would love to get everybody, and I mean everybody from the community to, to, to get on board, but you, it's next to impossible because of YouTube you can only have a certain amount of length time uh, when it comes to these videos. And it's just, it's hard to know who started like as soon as yesterday. If I knew someone who started yesterday, I would want them on right there. It's tough to keep track as to who's coming in and who's some of the old guys. You know, I would love to get everybody, but I wanted to get new faces. So if I personally did not invite you, please do not take it personally. I want to get some new faces in here. So my picks for this very video is gonna be Zippo's Mythos. Now I know Zippo, the lighter company, but think of Versace put on with a slight floral touch. That's what this one is and it's 15 bucks. Let's go with something a little bit more masculine and we're gonna go with Bottega Venita Illusioni for him. This is green citruses and a lot of woods. Very masculine, very mature. And let's go with something a little bit more expensive. This is discontinued, so if you can get it for about, let's say, no more than $130 Canadian, maybe $100 USD, then jump on it. Hugo Boss Cotton and Verbena from the collection line. This was once like $200, $250 Canadian, so it's certainly not worth the price tag. This has a lot of Verbena and it pops, especially during the, this hot summer heat. I ended up doing a review of this one. Heck, I did a review of all of these. But for this one, I actually ended up doing a review with my first guest. And I'm gonna let him kick it off because out of everybody that I reached within the first five minutes of me reaching out to a lot of people, this guy gave me a video. I wish everybody's enthusiasm was like this guy, but hey, y'all need to take a page out of this guy's book. But again, I want to personally thank everybody who's participated in this very video, and I want to thank everybody who's watching. So let's just jump into it. What's going on guys? What's going on Chad? And thank you for inviting me to this collaboration. A fragrance that I really enjoy lately and I think it's a hidden gem. Not a lot of people talk about it, which is Fan Defendi Aqua. This is a very uh, marine this is a very salty, oceanic, aquatic type of a fragrance with a big leather note. If you love leather and fragrances and you love uh, um, aquatic fragrances at the same time, combine these two together and you get that. And it performs wonderfully and I love it. And I've been wearing the heck out of it um, this year and lately, especially in this hot, humid summer heat that we're having here in LA. Cheers, che cheers, cheers. I don't know what I'm saying, but okay, bye. Oh, hey, how's it going, YouTube? I'm Brandon from Da Vinci's Alchemist. Thank you so much, Chad, for inviting me to the party to share with everyone my summer hidden gem fragrance. So let me pull that out for you real, ooh, real quick. There you go. So let me introduce you to Nejma. It is an atar oil, and it is great for the summer. Beautiful light florals, lots of delicious citrus notes, all sitting on top of this nice little base of woods. A wee hint of some agarwood, and a little bit of sweetness provided by honey and vanilla. And it's got this nice floating throughout note of tea and it's beautiful. Don't be swayed by the idea that it's a perfume oil. Atars have a tendency to project like you wouldn't believe. And it's a workhorse, lasts you all day into the next day. This is originally from a brand that was called Maison Alferanzi. It is now called Maison Anthony Marmine. And I highly suggest that you check it out. Hope everybody has a beautiful summer. Don't forget, keep calm, stink pretty. Hi Chad, thanks for including me on this collab about hidden summer gem fragrances. And I have to say that this particular fragrance I have been loving this summer and it is Beloved or Beloved by Amouage. It is a beautiful floral fragrance. It has some prominent notes of a violet, jasmine, vanilla, ylang ylang, and there's also some animalic notes such as civet, castorium, and musk. You do get the musk. You, although the animalic notes are not as prominent in the fragrance, it's just beautifully blended. It is a sultry, seductive, elegant fragrance. 
And if you're going to a upscale party and you want to feel very opulent, you can't go wrong with this fragrance. Beloved by Amouage. Thanks, Chad. What's happening, guys? It's Nick at Talk and Review. Big thanks to Chad for allowing me to be a part of this video. My summer gem is from Pocket Sense and it's called Raspberry and Vanilla. It's sweet, it's original, performs fantastic, and there's nothing like it on the market. What's going on, everybody? Joe here, back with my take, my pick, my summer gem. But first of all, thank you to my bro, Chad, for putting this collaboration together. You see, I got the summer vibes. It's a great, great time out here in Atlanta. Anyways, my pick is Do Is Original Pineapple Express. Perfect for the summertime, real mellow, real calm. Pineapple, birch, vetiver, cedar woods, of course. Some cannabis. Really, really good fragrance. Unisex, good for the women, good for the men. Perfect, such an underrated gem for the summertime. And you're gonna smell an average. What is going on, my people? You know who it is, and if you don't, you're about to find out. I am the one, the only, never duplicated, Solano Furu, and my hidden gem for the summer that I am going to be rocking this summer is Boys 1920 Ultramare. This one's a really nice fragrance. It has that rhubarb, that citrus, that woody note, that muskiness. Really, really, really nice fragrance and really unique as it stands by itself. It's limited edition so you know you're not going to smell like anybody else if you have it. If you haven't gotten it, try a sample. Um, pretty much that's it. That's all I got to say. It checks all the boxes. Good longevity, good projection, uniqueness. What more could I ask for in a fragrance? But smelling different is something I really want to do and stand out above the crowd and be different um pretty much if you guys haven't checked out boys 1920 ultramare i suggest you do and as always i'm out of here remember wear what you want buy what you want thank you chad again for having me in this collaboration video good luck on to the next hello everybody my name is medi from medicent channel thank you chad for having me in this video my head and gem summer fragrances rasasi shalaf 24 hours longevity without exaggeration and three, four hours, projection and sillage, nuclear type of fragrance, reminds me of Invictus Legend. In that genre, it is floral, aquatic, by hint of skankiness at the base. Enjoy rest of the video. Hello everyone, thanks Chad for having me. Hidden gems, we're discussing hidden gems, so I've got this one. Oh, little hidden gem here. Poo. Hidden that fellow for a while. Used to have two, but the other ones are uh, gone missing. I just can't reach it. Anyway, what I'm gonna do, enough about a hidden gem. I'm gonna spice it up, talk about a hidden summer fragrance gem. Yep, this one, that's up there too. We know the Lamal range. Oh, this one, bit of a hidden gem. Bit of a bum pube on there, we'll get that off there. Dust him off. This one, Lamal Summer 2010. Cologne Tonic Concentration performs like an EDT. I tell you, there is ginger, mint, and something else in there. I think it's ginseng. This one, Lamal Summer, is summer. Summer fresh, summer beautiful. It's my little hidden gem, 2010. There you go. Peace. Cheers, Chad. Hi, guys. My name is Michelle from the channel Curly Fragrance. Thank you, Chad, for having me on this collaboration. And my hidden gem, hidden summer gem, is Mancera Holidays. Now, not many people talk about this, but this is my most complimented fragrance in my whole collection. This is a unisex fragrance, and men and women can wear it. It doesn't matter who wears it. Everybody is sexy with this fragrance, all right? The reason why I like it, it is, this is so well blended. Um, you get salty notes, you get vanilla, you get this clean musk, and pff, this one just really smells, really smells good in the summer. This is long lasting, it won't come off your skin, and this one projects like a beast, so everybody is going to smell you, and that's why you're gonna get compliments with this one. Thank you, Chad, for having me on your channel. What's up, guys? This is Josh from All About Fragrance. Jonesy from Films and Frags. Together we are. Tennessee, Tennessee Fragheads. <laughs> Thanks to Chad for reaching out to us to get this video together. Uh, <laughs> we only got one minute, so. <laughs> My favorite summer fragrance that isn't really um, 
number one in anybody's list or anything like that. It's not really talked about. It should be Amongst Waves by Gallagher. Mm. Super good, watermelon, amazing. Absolutely. And my summer gem of a fragrance is one that was talked about at first, but now it's not really. It is Juliet Has a Gun, that's Vanilla Vibes. You wanna smell like a nice sunscreen, um, but better. Yeah. And you like a vanilla that's not gourmand for the summer, definitely check it out. Super beachy. Yep. <laughs> Thanks to Chad. Peace. See you. What's going on? Thank you so much, Chad, for having me on your channel again with another collab. So happy to bring you guys my summer kind of hidden gem. I think it's discontinued, but this one is so good. It is called Ferrari Bright Neroli. This one opens up very beautifully with some citrus. You get some citron, you get some lemon, you get this wonderful and beautifully made uh, bitter orange, and I think it kind of gives off this barbershop vibe, but the neroli in it is delectable. It's such an irresistible fragrance. I absolutely love this one. If you can get your hands on it, please, if you can, get you some, get you a sample and check it out. But it's one of my favorites and it's a gem to me. And this one's called Ferrari Bright Neroli. Hey guys, Tina here, Critical Virgo. Thank you, Chad, for inviting me to be part of this summer collab. My secret gem summer fragrance hands down has to be from Crabtree and Evelyn. And this one is Verbena and Lavender. Looks like that. If you can find this, it's very hard to find these days, but if you find it, you totally need to pick it up. It's been rocking my world for years and I promise it will do the same for you too. If you're really into soapy, bright, fresh, green, summery, freshy fragrances. Hope you guys enjoy this. On to the next person, bye. Mabuhay everyone! A big shout out to Chad. Again, thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity. Now my hidden summer gem fragrances will be from the house of John Paul Gaultier we have here, John Paul Gaultier Superman, and John Paul Gaultier Popeye. Now these two fragrances are summer flankers of the original Le Mal. These two fragrances are just the same juice in two different bottles, and they open up with a sweet bubblegummy minty vibe which is perfect for the summer. Now, it can get really hot here in the Philippines. When I say hot, it can get really hot. In fact, the temperature here can exceed the normal body temperature. That's how hot it can get here in the Philippines. And these two fragrances are best worn in the summer. In fact, I'll be using this as my scent of the day. On to the next one. Hey Chad, thanks for having me on your channel. And uh, I wanna show you my summer uh, hidden gem right here. This is brand new from Goldfield and Banks. It's called Bohemian Lime and it is a citrus blast with a nice woody finish. And I'm telling you guys, this is going to be a summer blockbuster for 2020. You wait and see. On to the next person. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Rum 300. Chad, I want to thank you for allowing me to join this collaboration video. I got a couple of fragrances. I know I'm cheating a little bit, but we people, so you're gonna let me do this. All right, so the first fragrance I got up there for Hidden Gems for the summertime is this beautiful fragrance from Valhelm, and this is called Morning Chess. Beautiful summer citrus leather woody fragrance that nobody's talking about. I've seen maybe one review on the fragrance channels and not many people are talking about it, but it's an excellent fragrance for the summer. I got one more fragrance for you guys, and this is one of those affordable, cheapy fragrances that is a banger. And this one is from Beverly Hills Polo Club, and this is Rouge. You can get this for like three, four bucks. Go check it out, citrus. It's sweet, almost like a lemonade, lemon-lime drink. Beautiful, and has a green note at the end of the fragrance. So, check this one out, guys. Thank you again, Chad, you my peoples, and everybody. Please spread love, positivity, and let's keep racism out of our hearts. I love all you guys. I'm out, peace. My hidden gem for summer is, and it's from the house of Ove, and it's simply called Blue Coast. This is in the same realms as Pacific Rock, now it's smelling exactly the same. It's more tropical sea salty than it is just sea air sea salty if that makes sense but at 20 pound and the quality is spot on and it does come under the 30 pound even with shipping 
50 mil for 20 pound or 20 euros. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. Leave Pacific Rock Moss on the shelf and get this. My favorites for the summer, hidden gems for the summer, are Los Angeles by Galavant. Gorgeous, gorgeous, tropical cocktail vibe. Night out in Los Angeles. Pineapple, tuberose, aquatic notes, just beautiful. Spray some on here, beautiful. Second of all, we have Treffpunkt 8 Uhr by Schwarzlose Berlin. And this is very vetiver dominant, but supported by the most beautiful, sweet, ripe mango. Um, perfectly unisex, but I think it would be even more amazing on a guy. Really, really love this. And last but definitely not least, don't know why I'm showing these samples, is Menta y Menta by Milch y Berto. Uh, very dominant mint fragrance, beautiful natural mint, supported by some fresh citrus notes, a little bit of tea notes or tea leaf, I think, and jasmine. Just beautiful. Those are them. Bye. Hello, my all-time favorite uh, perfume for hot days when it's more than 25 degrees is definitely Lys 41 by Le Labo. Since I discovered it, I only wear this perfume uh, when it's hot and not uh, no, no citruses anymore uh, because they are not complex enough and they don't stay, uh, they don't last enough. So uh, Lys 41 um, is con uh, contains Jasmine, tuberose, lily, uh, woody notes, vanilla and musks and to me it's more like an accord of jasmine and vanilla and it gives me the feeling that I'm wearing a suntan lotion and, uh, but it has a very very complex uh, evolution as well. It always surprises me and it's extremely extremely long lasting and uh, it's also, it also has a very huge projection and sillage. It's perfect for summer. Greetings, Earthlings and frat commies. My name is Luke. I am Paul, and, and, and on behalf of A Gentleman's Journey, my boy Chad, we're talking summer hidden gems. And one that I feel gets overlooked and deserves more love is Boss Bottled Unlimited. It is one of the overlooked uh, in the in the Boss Bottled line. It is the red-haired stepchild of summer fragrances. This one is pineapple-y, sweet, citrusy, a touch of spice, a touch of musk, kind of on a clean, soapy dry down. I get really good performance with this one. There's reportedly bad performance, but you know, reportedly a lot of, a lot of people do drugs too. So, so don't trust the reports, people. This one will get you through the day. It'll get you through the night, if that's your thing. Wink, wink. Uh, that's it for me. On to the next guy or girl. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Trey Sense here. And I was asked by a good friend of mine, Chad, from A Gentleman's Journey, to participate in a collaboration video on hidden gems for the summertime. No further ado, the fragrance that I chose is from the House of Banana Republic and it is Vintage Green 78. Now, why do I like this fragrance and why do I think it's a hidden gem? Simple, the notes. It has notes of like neroli in there. Uh, one of my favorite uh, scents in a fragrance, vetiver. This is a bright, citrusy, green, uplifting fragrance. The citrus and green mix well together. And it's inexpensive. You can get this 2.5 ounce bottle for about $19.99 and 3.4 ounce is, uh, I think, $24.99. And for a summertime fragrance, what more could you ask? It's bright, it's green, and it's inexpensive. So this is my hidden gem. Thanks again, Chad, for asking me to participate in this. Really do appreciate it. Again, guys, Vintage Green 78 from the House of Banana Republic. Peace. Hey Chad, thanks for having me, buddy. For those of you who don't know, I'm Hill from the Borough, and my summer hidden gem is Guerlain's Aqua Allegoria Limon Verde. Now this fragrance has notes of lime, green notes, fig, tonka, sugar, but what it really smells like is as if you took a lime and you squeezed it onto your lawn. Um, that may sound strange, but it's very refreshing. This is perfect for right out of the shower, very casual, and it's just one of those fragrances that when I put on, I just feel comfortable and cool. Um, one of the best parts about it is that you can usually get this fragrance from discounters for like 26 bucks or so, um, which is a total steal for this bottle. Um, yeah, so that was Guerlain's Aqua Allegoria Limon Verde, and I hope you guys give it a try. A few weeks ago, my bro Chad over at A Gentleman's Journey, 
he hit me up to just do a collaboration video again and the first one was amazing Chad I just want to say keep doing what you're doing bro it's a good look so what he asked was for us to basically um, touch on a hidden gem for the summer and my fragrance I will be touching on is from the house of Gallagher fragrance and this one is Amongst Waves this one featured notes of you have honeydew, you have lime zest, you have aquatic notes, you have patchouli this one, trust me, this one is just like a juicy salted Jolly Rancher, a watermelon Jolly Rancher to be exact the performance on this one beautiful, the projection amazing, the longevity insane so this one is underrated because I haven't seen much persons talk about this one so this is the one I want to touch on for the summer and it's always summer here in Jamaica peace I'm out Chad take it away hey everybody Joe from NYC fragrances first off I want to thank Chad for having me be part of the collaboration it means a lot to me and my hidden gem fragrance for the summer it's actually, I want to say, a summer nighttime fragrance. And the fragrance is from the house of Chiruti, and it is 1881 Essential. What you get here is citrus, herbaceous, and woodiness. It's got a note of artemisia, which is, I think, what gives it a different herbal twist. For a cheaper fragrance, I found this to be very unique. The citruses are really bold and beautiful. It's got grapefruit, it's got bergamot, it's got mandarin, so it's juicy and zingy at the same time. It's got vetiver in it, so it gives you that nice vetiver touch, clean vetiver. It's got some cedar, so you have that woodiness. And oak moss to give you that classic, dried down, almost fougere style vibe. But it's a citrusy, woody, aromatic for the summertime, which I think is fantastic and needs more love. Howdy y'all, Titan Fragrances here. I first wanna thank you Chad for this opportunity to join this great collab. I know it's gonna be a ton of great reviewers out there. It's best summer, hidden gem, here's mine. Guerlain Eau de Cologne Imperial. This thing is very, very citrus heavy. It is very clean. It is quite sparkly, effervescent you could say. And it is just definitely a hidden gem. I have don't hear anyone talking about. Lemon, lemon verbena, citruses, neroli, all the great stuff for you. Spray it heavy, spray it often. It's not going to last super long. It is an eau de cologne, but it is a great gem for you to discover. Really inexpensive. Give it a shot. Guerlain makes some great stuff. So, my hidden gem, guys, back to you, Guerlain. Hi, I'm Mari from the channel Mari and Sense, and today I bring you my favorite fragrance for the summertime. I have here the Claracion from Cartier. This is a fragrance that is citrusy. It has bitter orange, bergamot, and then it is also perfectly combined with neroli and other aromatic and spicier notes like caraway, cardamom, and it even has some tea. It is a fragrance that is very refreshing, very safe to wear, very inoffensive, great for the summertime, but at the same time, it is still a very sophisticated and elegant fragrance. So for me, it's just ideal. It is safely unisex. I absolutely recommend it. Declaration from Cactier. And thank you so much to Chad for inviting me to participate in his channel. Hey Chad, thanks very much for putting this together. This is going to be a hidden jams for the summertime. So I'm gonna give you guys two options. One that's gonna be more affordable, that is if you can find this. It's still around guys, so if you can find, this is Solo Lovi, which is a Spanish company. This is going to be a tropical citrus aromatic fragrance with a gorgeous note of guava up top. So if you like tropical citrus fragrances for the summer, you're gonna enjoy this. This is a citrus with a backbone. As you can see, the color of the juice, this is not an ordinary blue scent but it's a great tropical scent for the summertime and I love that guava up top. So this is a more affordable choice. You can find this still out there, guys. If you look carefully, you're gonna be able to find a bottle for a decent price. And if you wanna go all out, get something a little bit more expensive, this is a great choice for the summertime. It's, I'm in love with the scent right now. This is Whetstone for Amuru. This is another, again, citrus aromatic slash aquatic, in my opinion, the best aquatic scent in the market today. Check it out if you haven't, Whetstone. Two great hidden gem options for the summertime. Again, Chad Ski, thanks for putting this together. Guys, keep refreshed out there, stay safe, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. What's up, everyone? This is JC. Uh, Chad, thank you so much for having me as a part of this collaboration. As you can see, keeping it real casual here. And my 
hidden gem summer fragrance. It may not be so hidden now because I've been talking about it on my channel quite a bit. Uh, from the house of Sean John, we got 3 a.m. Very inexpensive scent. And this kind of smells a little tropical. It's sweet, it, it's very fresh, has tonic water in here, has a bit of a spicy cardamom, so it is quite refreshing. Dries down to some leather, has some fig leaf in there. It's a pretty interesting combination of notes that comes together to be pretty simple, but very interesting and just really pleasant. And the dry down is pretty sensual, that's what I love about it. Anyway, that is my hidden gem, Sean John 3AM. On to the next one. Damn, I really don't want to do this. My goddamn friend Chad always asking for me to do things in the, I don't know, oh, the video recording. Listen, how you doing, YouTube? I'm Sam Broom. I want to thank Chad for allowing me to be in this collabo. My gem for the summer is by Dunhill. It's Alfred Dunhill in this century, all right? Caprio, um, Saprio oil, Neroli, sandalwood with some citrus at the top with bergamot, grapefruit, and mandarin orange. Something like that. Nice, sweet, juicy, neroli, and sandalwood base scent. Oh my god, this is this is gorgeous. Summertime, you can't go wrong with this. Dress it up, dress it down, casual, formal, whatever you want to do with it. This is definitely a do-it-all scent. And again, I want to thank my brother Chad for allowing me to be in this collabo. Peace. Salutations friends, welcome to Chad's channel. Hi, my name is Kristen from the channel Beauty Meow. Humongous thank you for letting me part of this, be a part of this amazing collab. Today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about my summer hidden gem fragrance. This is a fragrance I've loved for years. It's fantastic and it's Ylang from Glev. This fragrance is not only a creamy, beautiful, tropical, white floral fragrance, but it's also very transportive. It takes you to an exotic locale hotel where you're like fed delicious desserts and there's just a beautiful environment around you. And it's just really just a stunning, perfectly crafted fragrance that works beautifully in the summertime. I'm a huge lover of white florals in hot and humid weather, and this is one I reach for all the time. In any case, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have tried it, and if you haven't tried it, definitely get your nose on it. All right, that's my recommendation. Now on to the next reviewer. Summer fragrances, hidden gems I have two to share with you guys. The first one is coming from a Japanese house, so the culture is imbued in the fragrance themes here. Therapeutic, zen, calming, soothing, refreshing. This one is called Mizu, which translates to water. This one is centered around a citrusy, woody vetiver with some sweet florals to smooth things over and a little bit of sweetness in the background to contrast a little bit. Uh, like I said, uplifting and calming. For the price point, this one is amazing. I just received my bottle. I can't wait to wear this one during the summer. Now, the next fragrance that I'm really excited to try is from the house of Chris Rusak and it's called Timber. Went through all my samples and decided to grab a bottle, 30 ml here for lack of the 50 ml at the time I bought it. Actually ended up grabbing 50 ml when they showed up on the website as a backup bottle. That's how good this one is. This is centered around a citrusy woody theme with a green refreshing uplifting goblinum running through it. You get a textured myrrh running through it as well with the cedar backing it up. But you also get a beautiful mineral feel. Woody feel that is coming from Vietnamese oud. Nothing barnyard here. It plays really well and cleanly with the rest of the theme of the fragrance here. Really to enjoy during high heat summer but also as a signature scent. This is how good this one is. Uh, no brainer for me. I'm really excited to dive on this bottle here. and. I'm glad to have a backup bottle. These are my recommendation and then what I'm really excited to try this summer. Now on to the next reviewer. What's up y'all? I'm Mike from the YouTube channel 5280 Cents. Chad, I wanna thank you for having me on your channel again to be a part of this collaboration. So a summertime hidden gem. What I've got might not exactly be a hidden gem that has flown under the radar in the community, but more of a forgotten about fragrance that is a cheapie. From the house of Clinique, it is going to be happy for men. Now this right here was a staple for me way back in the day. This is a scent that is citrus heavy with some florals. So really just a very simplistic style fragrance, but simple works for the summertime. Chad, thanks again and take care guys. Hey everyone, Raj here from the channel The Sentient Man. Thanks Chad for the invite. 
my pick for this summer uh, hidden gem, not really a hidden gem, more overlooked I would say within this line and this one is Hermes on Jardin sur le Toit. I think Sul and Neil gets uh, more praise than this one but this is my favourite. I gave this one uh, a 10 out of 10 on my channel so you can check out the review if you're interested. It's very crisp, very fruity, floral, grassy, it's supposed to be reminiscent of the uh, garden on the rooftop of uh, Hermes's headquarters in Paris. A really, really beautiful fragrance. Um, it's actually my scent of the day and works perfect in warm weather. Lasts well on my skin. Definitely worth checking out. It's very classy, fresh, bright fragrance from Hermes. Oh, hey, Labid, it's your boy, Big B, B, Chad. Thanks for having me here on The Gentleman's Journey. Today, I'm here to talk to you about a hidden gem as it comes to fragrances for the summertime. This one comes from X Neo, and it was originally released for women, but since then, this one has transitioned into a solid unisex scent, and this one is Fleur Nicotique. Now, by the name itself, you can tell that this one is a floral-based scent, but this one definitely smells amazing you have peach you also have bergamot you have some woody base in this thing and it's extremely long lasting if you're looking for a fragrance that's not going to be on everyone that allow you to stand out and smell amazing this is definitely one that you can grab from ex neo fleur nicotique chad tell them what i said hit the goddamn bell how you doing youtube i go by the name of coach rob 619 this is the first time seeing me and before I start, I want to give a shout out to Chad for letting me be a part of this phrase collaboration. And I know he wanted me to be quick, so I'm going to jump right into it. So my hidden gem for the summer of 2020 is this right here, Dua Casino Elixir 2.0. Now they came out with one, um, the original version that pretty much was hyped amongst the community. Everybody loved it. It was hard to find. It was sold out. You couldn't buy it from the site. Um, now they came out with a 2.0 version, so I made sure to get it. I just literally added this to my collection last week, and I'm absolutely blown away by it. This is my first experience with the Dua brand. Um, for you guys that may not be familiar, they do a lot of inspiration, kind of clone fragrances of popular fragrances. Um, but this one right here, man, it was it's, it's a great one. And to get right into what it smells like, this is Creed Aventis and Mason Francis Kurjan's uh, Baccarat World 540. They took the two, blended them together, and came out with this. And they did a great job on it. Um, you're going to get that fresh pineapple um, that you get from Aventis, and then you're going to get that kind of cotton candy floral vibe that you get from Baccarat Grove. And they kind of just intertwine with each other for this amazing scent. Um, great silage, great scent bubble. Um, you're going to get a ton of compliments. So if you're practicing your social distancing here in the summer, do not wear this one because people will come up to you, you will be complimented, people will ask you what is it that you have on, even through a face mask. So at least, at least that's what's happened to me. So anyway, guys, that's my hidden gem for 2020 summer. Peace. Hey guys, Yana here from my channel, The Scented. First of all, huge thank you to Chad for inviting me to be a part of this awesome collaboration. My hidden gem fragrance is Nina Ricci Rose Extas. This is such an underrated gem. It's one of the most beautiful rose fragrances. It's a jammy, sweet, syrupy rose, like the kind that you would find in Middle Eastern desserts, but not too sweet. It's on a bed of a beautiful powdery vanilla and raspberry, and it's sweet, but light and airy enough to wear in spring and summer. This is in part created by Francis Curtijan, in my opinion, the rose master, and it's just one of my absolute favorite rose fragrances that doesn't get to be in the spotlight enough. On to the next reviewer. Hey, what's up fragrance community? Chad from Gentleman's Journey. Thank you so much, my friend, for this collaboration video. Always great to see the community coming together and uh, I'm really excited to see all your picks. This is a summer hidden gem fragrance. This one never ever talked about. Uh, I think I'm the only one who actually did a review on it, but I just love it. Uh, you know, when people think pineapple, they always think of Ventus. This one has that great pineapple note in there. Uh, it's a little bit more musky, has some florals in it. Uh, I know it's some iris in here and it's very peppery. So it really doesn't give me that Aventus vibe at all, but it does have a great pineapple vibe or a, a note in there, which is, which is really great. But guys, coming from the house of Moresk, if you guys can see it, but this one is Rand. And guys, it is just really, really a beautiful fragrance. I uh, just, again, just, just love it. A little pricey, but it is just, really great i get a lot of compliments with this one but for a hidden gem out there for a summer fragrance get your nose on this one 
really, really nice. Uh, Chad, again, Gentleman's Journey, thank you so much for uh, this collaboration. Like I said, can't wait to hear uh, all you others' uh, picks out there. So talk to you guys soon. I hope everyone's doing well and smelling great. What's going on, everybody? This is Christian from One Accord Fragrance Reviews. Chad, once again, thank you for having me on your channel. Summertime gems is a subject. This summertime gem took me a while to pull the trigger on, but I'm glad that I finally did. What do you want from something for the summertime? You want something that's going to last long. You want something that's going to stand out. You want something that's going to have you smelling fresh and clean despite the temperature. So this one here is perfect. It starts with Mexican lime, Sicilian orange, fig, tobacco, aquatic notes. It has a woody base and you can almost smell the fresh cut grass on this one. Perfumology's Grange from perfumology.com. Near guy is the brand owner. This guy will hook you up when you order from him. His stuff is amazing. I would definitely check it out if you have not yet. Chad, again, thanks a lot. On to the next. Scentland, the land of scent. Hi, it's Chris here and my hidden gem summer fragrance is ladies and gentlemen da -da, super dry blue male cologne um why this is how it looks i have an original uh still packed and, and one that i used last summer and i'm gonna use it this summer again yes my son is here as well he loves this fragrance tremendously as well dressed up in blue all for that oh yeah um this is a great aquatic citrusy fragrance that lasts a long time, is very, very uh, uh, inexpensive, easy to carry around, easy to fit in your bag, in your pocket, wherever. And it's greatly, it smells fantastically of a blue swimming pool. Maybe you have a cocktail, a citrus based cocktail in the swimming pool. That's how it smells. And it lasts a long time. Super dry, blue male cologne. Thanks very much. Thanks Chad. The hidden gem I'm going to mention is GOF Trumpers Cologne. This is a very clean, fresh, masculine smelling citrus scent along the lines of Aqua de Palma's Colonia or Dior's Eau Sauvage. So very sophisticated, gentlemanly stuff. It can be had for only £44 for this 50ml bottle and you can get that on GOF Trumpers website. I'm not sure how hidden it is, but it certainly is, in my opinion, a gem. Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks Chad for inviting me to be part of this beautiful collab. I'm feeling honored as usual. He is my brother. So we are supposed to do uh, summer uh, gems, right? So I actually picked up four from my collection, some a little bit from back in the time and perhaps one of my latest uh, collection. Hopefully you guys try it out. These are absolute summer bangers, okay? Let me just show you one by one, you'll get an idea. First one I'm gonna show you, Versace Puron. You see my new bottle. 200 ml absolute summer gem then second one i'm going to show you pineapple vintage intense amazing amazing fragrance full of pineapple and birch and uh, try it out third one i'm going to show you is a female perfume but it's amazing dolce and cabana light blue pour femme and last but not least aqua di parma arancia di capri thanks for watching time to move on to the next reviewer have a nice day bye bye What's going on, guys? I'm Cologne Guy E of Simply Put Sense. And first of all, Chad, I want to thank you so much for inviting me to your channel. I hope you all are safe and well through all the craziness that we're going through right now. Um, and um, I really look forward to seeing you on my channel very, 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 very soon. I'm definitely going to be starting up again. But anyway, and the fragrance that I wanted to put you on to is a scent from the house of Natura Brazil. It's called Jacaranda. And guys, I've talked about Jacaranda on my channel, but I just, I'm grateful and I'm really glad to get the opportunity to talk about it on someone else's channel because this fragrance definitely needs to be talked about and noticed. It's one of my favorite fresh fragrances for the summer at the moment. It's basically a scent comprised of papyrus, rose, and grapefruit. Very, very simple note breakdown, but the fragrance, the scent is far from simplistic. It smells really, really beautiful, really, really interesting, and very different. Not your typical fresh fragrance, especially for men. Easy to wear and very, very appealing. Guys, this is a scent that you must consider. I wish you could get samples of it. It's really hard to do that. You can find this fragrance on only one place, on the website, natorabrazil.com, or 
natura.com it's amazing 95 dollars for 1.7 ounces it's so much worth it it's probably going to destroy every fragrance you're going to hear about on this list <laughs> i'm just joking but anyway guys thank you so much for so anyway guys thank you so much for hearing me out um i hope you all are very very safe and well throughout this craziness just take care guys be well and um i'll be seeing you real, real real soon what's up chad and what's up to everybody else that doesn't know who i am my name is matt i go by georgia gent here on youtube and chad i want to say thank you for inviting me on to here to share it with your people uh, a summer hidden gem my fragrance is inspired by the cool and refreshing mornings here in the south which can honestly be a bit uh, humid and warm so it doesn't make a lot of sense but i get what they're going for here now this fragrance you cannot find here on youtube it's not one that you can search in the search bar and go find a review for it which i will be the first person to review this fragrance unless when you guys beat me to it but i don't see it happening my fragrance is southern tide blue now i really like the simplicity of this bottle with a little bit of different this here it kind of reminds me of uh of maybe going on a boat in the mornings but when i uh, primarily when i wore this was when i was going golfing a few years ago in the bottle you guys can see here it's not quite your standard stock bottles but it's one that i i enjoy and again chad thank you very much for inviting me on here i plan on bringing you guys a review of this one so you guys can have an idea about it but guys see y'all What's up YouTube, Israel from Dollars and Cents here. Thank you to Chad for letting me be a part of this compilation video. Uh, he wanted me to do an underrated summer fragrance. I'm gonna go ahead and do three for you guys. We're gonna start with a clone. If you guys like Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino, you guys should try out Al Haramain's Neroli Canvas. This is a great clone, guys, for more than half off, and it lasts a lot longer than a Neroli Portofino. On to a cheap designer fragrance, also a cheap but good fragrance from the House of Original Penguin. We have Premium Blend. This is a nice minty, uh, fresh, soapy, green, uh, just very, very nice seaside fragrance, guys. Uh, love this one for the price. You're getting a great fragrance here and lasts a long time as well, at least on my skin. Uh, to finish things off from a um, niche house, if you guys consider this a niche house, I do. From the house of Guerlain, we have Guerlain Homme Eau de Parfum 2016 version. This is a mojito in a bottle, very reminiscent to Zerzhov's Renaissance. This is a more affordable version of that fragrance in my opinion. Very long lasting, has the mint, has the, uh, the boozy rum note, and uh, I believe it has some lime in it. Very nice fragrance here, very affordable as well guys. So those are my three underrated summer fragrances you guys should try this summer. Uh, thanks again to Chad for letting me be a part of this video. And uh, be sure to follow me on Dollars and Cents, and on to the next reviewer. It's over. That's the time I fall in love again. Hey, I didn't see you there. It's your boy Joey coming at you. 2020, a giant mistake. Your worst nightmare. The worst year of your life. But then we still have summer. Let's make the best of it. Speaking of making the best of a bad situation, hey, it's me, your boy. Skinny. P Anyways, um. Underrated scent 2020, one of my favorites. One of my one of my favorites for the beach. Hugo Boss. In motion! Give me that focus. It's like a fushigi. Shit! You cut this out. I will never talk to you again, Chad. Anyways, boss in motion. How do we explain it? It's creamy. It's zesty. It's citrus, it's orange. It's like a spicy dream sickle. It's delicious. Why does nobody talk about this? Why does nobody wear it? 2002, shout outs to Anne Marie. Sitting on the hood in the middle of the woods, you know, you know that song? Anyways, this stuff is great. It's still in production. You can still find the bottle of this stuff floating around, like your ex girlfriend still floating around on your hard drive, if you know what I mean. You just can't get rid of the classics. With that being said, uh, I'm Joey Cannoli, and uh, thanks, Chad. It's been a minute and 40. Sue me. What are you going to do? 
Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from the channel Redolescence. Chad, thank you so much for having me be a part of this collaboration, man. I really do appreciate it. And today we're discussing summer hidden gems. These are fragrances that a lot of people don't know about, they're not really spoken about, but fragrances that we deem are the perfect candidate for the summer months. And this is a fragrance that I've been wearing religiously for the past week or so, and it is really an under the radar fragrance. I would love to see more reviews of this hidden gem on YouTube. And this one by Roja Parfum is called A Midsummer Dream. Now, if I were to guess, I think this is inspired by William Shakespeare's comedy play of a similar name, A Midsummer Night's Dream. And you can even tell it has a, a hobgoblin here on the front, which is based off a character in the play informally known as Puck, but his real name is Robin Goodfellow. And this is a summer fresh fragrance. It has grapefruit, elemi resin, bergamot. It has a really clean vetiver in the base. It also has an undercurrent of oak moss. It has this pairing of spices. You have cardamom and pink pepper, but then you also have this gorgeous rose note in the mid along with orange blossom. It's just a really delectable summer fragrance, and it's one that I see myself wearing a lot of, but also really well into the autumn as well because it has longevity. It has sustenance. It's not a fleeting summer fragrance, and it's put together so well, and it's one that that, truth be told, I have been wearing sparingly on account of the fact that it is a little bit on the pricey side, but I absolutely love it. If you have a chance to, at the very least, sample A Midsummer Dream by Roja Parfum, I would definitely recommend it because I think it's a stunning composition by Roja Dove, and please get your nose on it if you can. Thank you again once more, Chad, for having me be a part of this collaboration, and I'm curious and excited to see what everybody else has picked. YouTube fragrance community, what's going on? My name is Mark from the channel Robes08, 11 years strong on the platform. Thank you, Chad, for the invitation to this collaboration. But, dude, you know me better than this, right? You know, you can't just limit me to one or two fragrances and tell me, hey, keep it around 60 seconds, okay, Mark? Nah, Chad, you know what it is. I got 50, <laughs> 50. If you want to see the extended version of this video, hop over to the Robes Away channel. Now just sit back, pick your poison. Now all jokes aside, while I do all the editing here, Chad, you know I got you. I'll let everybody know what these bottles are. But while I'm talking, I'd like to intro this thing. And I hope you give me the honor of that, Chad. I appreciate that. Uh, before I do anything, I want to thank our host, Chad. Um, there's only a handful of people that can bring the community together in a positive manner like this and have over 40 entrants, I think he was saying, um, and, and everybody uh, giving their thoughts. And this is what's so great about this fragrance community. Instead of looking at the negatives, look at the positives that are are community has brought to your hobby. For me, 11 years on YouTube, I wouldn't take any years away from that. Um, I absolutely love this hobby and the people that are in it on YouTube, the more it grows, the more I love it. And as you saw from the people in front of me, um, everybody has their own uh, taste. Uh, everybody uh, is in a different um, place in their journey. Um, you can talk about a Yope fragrance. What about Adam here? Discontinued, probably 150 bucks on eBay, which is a great hidden gem to a Eau de Rubarbe Ecarlata rhubarb based fragrance from Hermes. Still available, but pretty pricey as a designer scent, right down to the different companies. Bergamot, right here, a niche release to uh, James Healy's great Sel Marin and Mount Fraiche. Um, it goes to show you that you can find some gems everywhere. And uh, the great thing about this community and this friendship that I have with Chad is um, we meet up every so often and Chad still influences me to this day. It doesn't matter how long I've been on this platform. It doesn't matter if my taste is way, way crazy, like animalics and, and things like that. But Chad, I'm holding one here. Um, he still, to this day, last year, he introduced me to Eau de Cartier Zeste de Soleil. And um, just because we are in a different place in our journey, doesn't mean that we can not come together and he can introduce me to some gems, um, so on and so forth. So I hope that these collaboration videos are great for people that are just getting into your journey. Um, and I hope that you get some great suggestions from the great people um, that have amazing noses and you can find something that uh, maybe 
may be dear to you. So again, merci beaucoup, Chad. Uh, thank you so much for uh, bringing it all, us all together. And uh, I guess we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>